As the third of seven kids in a blue collar family on the west side, Randy Duncan says he was always a little different than his siblings. My brothers were all involved in sports. I wanted to twirl the baton and I wanted to jump double dutch and anything that had movement in it that was pretty. <laughs> I enjoyed watching musicals on television, whether it was uh, Shirley Temple or whether it was Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, or something coming on PBS. I just really, really loved that. I loved the costuming, I loved the lights, I loved everything about it. One more time and a lift. Taking classes was out of the question, he says, so his first lessons came from a surprising place. Bozo Circus is on the air. Like most Chicago public school kids in the 1960s, Randy came home for lunch. You got an hour for your lunch break, so I would rush home from school every day. And at the 12.30 hour, I knew they were going to have their guest on, and I was hoping it was the acrobats. Randy studied the acrobats. Every flip, twist, and backbend. And I would go outside and try the tricks, everything that they did. Then came the movie that set the course for his career. Yeah. West Side Story came on television. Seeing those guys dressed up in just regular street clothes and dancing and, and synchronization um, and telling a story. That is what I want to do. Uh, Randy was in seventh grade, and by chance, the following year, he saw a notice about auditions for an all-city high school West Side Story. And the poster also said that, you know, they were looking for acrobats. Mind you, I didn't even know what an audition was. I didn't really know the meaning of it. More than a thousand students tried out, many who clearly had a lot of training and experience. Randy was sure he didn't have a prayer, but in that huge auditorium, he took a chance that changed his life. Something came over me to, to raise my hand in the middle of all these, you know, a thousand folks and say, excuse me, I thought you said you wanted acrobats as well. And they say, can you do any? And I said, well, yeah. And they said, well, come on up <laughs> and show us. So here I am with my little eighth grade self, get up there on stage, and I started doing my acrobatics from Bozo Circus. Next thing you know, I'm a shark. One more time. Randy's star rose quickly. The choreographer of that show invited him to train on scholarship. He became a professional dancer at age 15 when he was invited to join the Joseph Holmes Dance Company. 19 years with Joseph Holmes, the last seven as artistic director. So I don't want so much arch in the air, you know what I'm saying? Now he's chair of the dance department at Chicago Academy for the Arts, where he's been teaching since 1994. Okay, guys, places for Stand By Me. They have a passion for doing what they do, and they're very gifted, very talented young artists. All they want to do is dance, uh, and uh, that's really, really where I come from, looking into those, those beautiful eyes and seeing myself in, uh, in, in their eyes. They remind me of myself when I was their age, uh, because I was their age when I, when I first started. Yeah. 